See the description for more information. Part 2. Mounting in the thermal bypass valve and bending the transmission lines. Parts list. Pause the video if you need more time to view the slides. Thermal bypass valve bracket made using CAD. A lot of fittings are required to join everything up together. All the parts together for reference. The thermal bypass valve bracket is mounted via a sway bar bracket bolt and tapping into an existing hole in the frame. Making the 10AN oil cooler to 3 8 inverted flare male tubing adapter. Make sure to use the supplied Teflon tape for sealing. Two are required. Installing one of the 10AN to inverted flare adapters. These are the sacrificial supplies for determining the shape of the steel metal lines. Here are the specialty tools for cutting and flaring the tubing. For bending all the cooler lines, use the wire first, easily bendable as shown in green here, to get the general shape of the cooler line. Then we mock it up in aluminum as shown in this segment since the wire does not have the right thickness or fitment. After that, then it's made with steel lines for durability. Here we are using a brake flaring tool to make a 45 degree double flare since it makes closer flares. Using the master cool to make a push connect flare. Trimming the push connect to prevent interference in the thermal bypass valve. The finished push connect with O-ring. The progression of wire form to aluminum to steel cooler lines. Determining the transmission oil flow direction for proper routing of the cooler lines. This slide shows that we want the transmission cooler after the radiator. Also shows the effect of the transmission fluid temperature on oil fluid life. Here we are bending the factory return hard line to go to the thermal bypass valve instead of the radiator. The factory return transmission cooler line is made out of both steel and rubber hose. We will be bending the steel section. Take your time since you do not want to introduce any kinks in the line. This shows the finished transmission cooler lines going to the thermal bypass valve require end flaring for it and oil flow direction. We need to relieve the back of this bumper tab to gain a little more clearance. Initially tried using a Dremel, then went with a rotary file and a regular file later to clean things up. Last minute details. 1. Put split loom to prevent the cooler lines from touching each other. 2. Put a zip tie around the thermal bypass valve to secure it to the frame bracket. Adding a half quart of transmission oil initially to offset the additional oil cooler and additional transmission cooler lines. We'll check fluid level when transmission is hot. Hope this video inspires you to do this mod to your Colorado or other vehicle. Thank you, it really helps the channel.